Benevolence. Benevolence. I have to look that up. Well, benevolence is when you uh, have goodwill towards another person and you act kindly. Bene is the Latin or Italian for good. Okay. And volo, volere is when you wish somebody something. Mm -hmm. Like a volunteer, somebody who offers service. So if you offer goodness to somebody, you're being benevolent. Mm -hmm. Benevolent. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it's like kindness or goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you want to talk about it? Well, I, um, last night I saw this phoenix character, which is that firebird, and I saw that um, the right. head of it right there, that was the head and it came down and wings. these, yeah, those were the wings. All the way out to there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but something happened with how it's sort of settled over with the kind of spreading of the thicker paint. And I, so that uh, this morning I saw a face in there. Do you see that face? Uh, give me a hint where you're looking. It's a big face yeah. in the red. Now it covers the most of the red down towards the bottom. Which side? Yeah, that's the nose going down. Oh, okay. This is the nose. Yeah. And then the eye is, there's an eye on the left of the nose. It's closed. It's a closed eye with an eyebrow. Oh, this, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. And you see the eyebrow? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it, it just um, seemed with that eye closed, it, there seemed to be a kind of a, oh, I don't know, a tranquility to that face. Yeah. And um, it is. He, he looks benevolent. Yeah, there you go. He <laughs> does. <laughs> so then after I thought of that as kind of a kind face, I looked down and around below and on the sides to see <clears throat> what was going on that was being affected by that benevolent, large, predominant, benevolent feature, especially with its really strong red color compared to everything else. Yeah. And I, I really didn't think much about how that uh, those figures are being affected by that red face. Is there, do you see any of that influence or that interaction? Do you see the figure below the nose? It leans, looks like it's leaning over. Yeah, he looks like he's pulling this. Yeah, this. yeah, like he's down on his, he stooped over or even on his knees, but, and he's pulling that other figure by the legs. Yeah, he? like he's helping him. Yeah. And then there's the figure over to the far right <clears throat> on the bottom that's, um, Maybe somehow it's it's leaning back almost the same way that figure that's being helped is kind of mm -hmm. leaning back, but it's more fallen over. Mm -hmm. So that maybe that figure on the far right is falling over. Mm -hmm. Maybe because that figure uh, that's being pulled was supporting that figure in some way, or maybe it was like a tug of war. And that figure on the right just lost mm -hmm. and it let go. And it's, you know, how when you let go in a tug of war, you kind of fall backwards. Mm -hmm. And then also that figure that's falling backwards it has a, a young little baby or child on its tail. Do you see that? Right here. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's some, I don't know whether it's a conflict or a, a rescue, uh, something that's either creating a problem or solving a problem that's being witnessed by that benevolent face. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure what the interaction is or whether it's helping or just witnessing. What do you see, Catherine? I see this fellow helping this one. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Yeah, when you're pulling somebody by the legs, you got to be helping them because yeah, it's like you're pulling them away from something that's dangerous. So that maybe that figure on the right is was a danger. I like the way this blue ribbon leans over and just about touches, touches the uh, red. Yeah, just barely touches, doesn't it? And then this one here does touch it. Like these two are yeah. um, wanting to come to, to the red guy. This one here. He needs to stop smoking. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the smoke? Right here. He's got a cigar in his mouth. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it looks like a, a beaver. See yeah. The face. yeah, it does. Yeah, I see that. This is the head. Yeah, and then the hand there. Yeah. The foot. Yeah. I like that beaver. Yeah. And the beaver seems to be kind of coming out of a, a haze of some kind. Yeah cloud coming out of a cloud like it's getting away or escaping or getting free becoming free of something that was hiding it what is the story of the phoenix well it it was a bird it's a big bird with a sharp beak, almost like a hawk of some kind, big wings. And, um, and then periodically, it would just catch on fire. It was a big red bird. And it would catch on fire and burn and disintegrate into ashes. And then after a while, it would resurrect. It would come back and become a baby phoenix and grow up. As I was thinking, maybe that this could be a combination of the phoenix and the gratitude of the phoenix. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 I guess it could be the gratitude to his ashes. No. I really like this face, though. Uh -huh. Do you see these as feet? Um, no, I didn't. If you do see him as feet, it kind of seems like he's bowing down a little bit. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, they could be feet. <clears throat> I 
This is a nice stroke, Warren. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's got a, a nub on the top. Yeah. Look at how the white space looks like a bright light shining through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a reflection from that big red face. Yeah. Because that whole side of that sh shape you're talking about is lighter than the other side. That's right, yeah. He's definitely the star of the picture. <clears throat> Look at that figure on the top in the middle. It's that brown figure that has a horse's head that's just touching the top of that phoenix's head. Do you see that? I'm looking yeah. for his head. Right there is where the phoenix's head and the horse's head touch. So if you go up from there, that's the horse's head. Yeah. You don't see the horse's head there. Is that his ear? Yeah. Yeah, there's his ear. He has a little bit of an eye. Oh, I see it now. I was trying to include this area. No, no. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's what confuses sometimes is the, trying yeah. to seeing seeing more than what the other yeah. person is describing, and then yeah, I, to understand it. right there. Look at him. How can I miss that? <laughs> <laughs> Here's a man laying down. Here's his head. His arm. Uh, his arm is back and up. Uh -huh. His body and his leg bent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and those three heads are coming together. The horse and the phoenix and the man's heads are all coming yeah. together in that point. Yeah, this is his head. Yeah. And you see how that is right near the phoenix's head, and it's right near the horse's head. Yeah. I made a mistake about his body. If this is his head, then this is his shoulder and his arm coming down. Oh, okay. Where did you see his head? I wasn't thinking about the head and I just saw this arm going up. Okay. So this is the head and this is the shoulder and the arm going down instead of oh. up. Okay. <sighs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's definitely the horse's head right there. Uh -huh. And they're all touching. What does that yeah. mean? Well, they're all converging there in some way. They're coming together. I'm not sure what it means. Yeah. It's just a, a thought or an idea. It doesn't have to be a story that makes sense, does it? No, it doesn't. This, this one's interesting. It looks like this is hollow right here. Yeah, that's what I thought it was too, like a hollow or the mouth. A big mouth. Yeah, like a suit of armor that's broken open. Uh -huh. I see an eye on the left side of that head. Uh -huh. Here? Right. Now that's the mouth. If you come down along the edge, see where those tendrils are shooting out? 
just around, not so far down, but the smaller tendrils, the bottom of the smaller tendrils is right near an eye. Okay. Right in there, right in there, or up a little bit. It, it, I see, imagine an eye there. And so that makes the face and then the big mouth on the top there. That big open space. Oh, okay. I was trying to see him looking left. When no, he... it's looking, looking up to the right. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it could be looking left, like you said, and that would just be a hat on the top. Yeah. Because it does have a nose there on the left. And a little bit of a mouth. These tendrils are interesting too, the way they stick out and are attached to the, they look like they're attached. Yeah. Um, yeah, that big one going off to the left looks like an arm. Yeah. If you if you think of that. Uh, eye that I described as looking yeah. off to the left. Yeah. And, then, and then that makes it the nose below those short tendrils. Do you see the nose beneath the short tendrils right there? Then a little bit of a mouth below that. Mm -hmm. Arm. Yeah. And then it looks like some wings there down in the back of it. In the yellow? No, right there is the wing. Right in that area. That's one of the wings. Uh -huh. Is this the other one? No, that's just the side of the face. That that um, dark space up above where you're pointing with the two tendrils, that could be a wing right in there. Paint really led a lot right in here, didn't it? Yeah, it did. 